What is up guys? Welcome to yet another episode of Blueberry Fishing. Today I'm gonna show you guys what's in my bag. Uh, we just came back from a jungle fishing trip, so uh, my bag is gonna be fresh, fresh from the jungle. So let's see, first we have a, uh, we have a polarized sunglasses. Polarized sunglasses is uh, super important if you're fishing in clear water or sunny days because they protect your eyes from UV rays and they help you see inside the water for quite quite a lot. Uh. Would you agree? Quite a lot, right? Yes, yes. It's quite it's quite an essential item if you're fishing in like semi even semi clear water. Anyway, this is a compass in case I get lost in the jungle. But so far I haven't got lost in the jungle. <laughs> so, so I didn't need to use the compass. You know what else do I have? I have a waterproof box for my GoPro batteries. Sometimes I also like to put my uh, spare mobile phone charger inside In case you get lost in the jungle, you don't want your phone to die Because you're gonna get lost the Phone is one of the most important thing when you're out in the jungle And of course I got a uh, off insect repellent This is to prevent malaria and dengue fever <laughs> And next, I got a weighing scale That I haven't used in a long time <laughs> because, because you haven't been catching any fish <laughs> Yeah, this is a weighing skill so that he might have sand dropping on <laughs> weighing skill in case I catch my PB so I'll know how heavy it is but I think it's, I haven't used it in such a long time that it's, uh, it's out of battery I <laughs> 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 battery time okay, now to the main compartment of my bag of course, oh, uh, what do you have? one liter water bottle stay hydrated when you're in the jungle there's a uh, no drink store in the jungle so when you get thirsty you need to have uh, bottled water to drink and my reel of course I'm rocking a 1000 size reel and this is my primary reel for uh, freshwater luring in Singapore for dummies and peacock bears stuff like that I'm running a, a 10 pound eh? no I'm running a 6 pound power pro on it and usually I use a 10 pound to 15 pound leader depending on the conditions and of course this is my belt the belt of many things <laughs> <laughs> including my lip grip my plier and my scissors, but I dropped my scissors today. So I love this belt because you can just uh, you can wear it like this. Wear it like this, go. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I mean. oh. <laughs> <laughs> so anytime, like like if you if you like if you catch a fish, then you can just take out a lip grip, then you go lip the fish. Then you can you take out the plier from here and and unhook the fish. Yeah. So this is extremely convenient. I would recommend everybody to get this. But this one, this belt is from SAF But I bought this one by myself So it's a good, good thing to have And uh, let's go what else? Okay, Before I go to my yours Show you guys my leader uh, What the hell is this? Okay, so basically most of the time I carry two leader with me One lighter leader and one heavier leader But uh, today I have two quite light leader One 6 pound trilene And the other is also trilene but the sticker is faded so but the other leader is 10 pound this one is 6 pound and yeah if the water is too clear I'll try and downsize use a lighter leader use a thinner leader to get more bites but generally I like to stick around 10 pounds 12 pounds like that and of course my GoPro GoPro yeah basically GoPro is GoPro uh. this is what I record the video <laughs> with and uh Okay, let's go to my let's go to my first your box. My main your box. This is my biggest dun, dun, dun. <laughs> my biggest and the main your box. And let's see let's see what I have in this your box. I got a ton of stuff inside here. Okay, let's let's go from biggest to smallest, okay? Basically I'm carrying a 120mm sinking minnow with me. I try to carry at least one. Actually only one because uh, they are not very practical. I don't use it most of the time since I'm targeting the menses and peacock bears. But I carry a big one just in case once in a while maybe like halfway I'm fishing I, I see a big toman come by I'll switch to this cast at it. Hopefully it bites but so far they haven't bite <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, other than that I have this shit. Oh crap I can't get it out. Okay, okay. I have this tiny ass spinner. Yeah. It spins and then yeah, but it's very small. Look at look at how small the hook is. I haven't catched anything on that either. Uh oh and of course okay the next bigger one is the Zarek Life Mullet. The action on this lure is insane man. It's like it's like, like a stick at it. 
damn nice, damn good. But it's a big fish lure, of course. It's, I think this is the four and a half inch version. So for me to target big fish, when I see when I see like a big tammy cruising by or a pair guarding some fry, I'll, I'll switch to this, that, that Zarek life mallet and target them. And then I also have uh, another big sinking pencil duo function lure. This is the bone dash sinking. It's 33 grams, you can cast it like super far. And it has dual functions, like you can vibe it or you can sink it and it. Also, uh, oh yeah, they are medium, medium size though. Uh. It look, it's heavy, but it's only 90mm, so not that big. And of course, uh, let's go to here. This is, uh, uh, this is a uh, Zarek Trail Weaver, top water, walk the dog. I think it's only 65, 65mm. It's quite a small walk the dog. I love it because uh, it's small. It's finesse and if you're fishing in a high pressure area, this is a very good top water lure and it works very nicely. And this is another sinking sinking minnow that I have. 60S, 60mm sinking minnow, flutters on a drop. One of the staples for Tamensis fishing, especially if you're fishing in a jungle and everywhere else actually. This is another one, it's made by a different brand. Forgot what brand this is, but this is a 50, 50S or so, 50 sinking. Also flutters on the drop. I like to retrieve it straight. Sometimes I like to like uh, work it and then pause it. But it's a, it's a good lure for Tamensis because it's small. And yeah, I got some a few bucktails here. I tied I tied these bucktails myself. These bucktail jigs. I tied it myself. I use a short catch jig head. I think this is what quarter ounce quarter ounce jig head. And it goes doot 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 doot, and then the the damn thing will eat it. Yeah, you go you gotta let it fall to the bottom. Then you like. Check it like up and down, up and down, up and down. Uh, I got three of them. Most of them have a red color in them because uh, so far, when when me or my or, or Sean use for or when Sean use a uh, bucktail hair hairstyle lures, usually red color they will hit it very very readily. I also don't know why. I think maybe it looks like Doman fry. Anyway, and this is a uh, Zarek. What's it called? I don't remember it. But it's a uh, what's it called? I forgot yeah. But this is a weedless swim bait. I use I like to use this when I'm fishing in super weedy condition because it's weedless obviously and the action is quite good on this thing so this is my favorite uh lure to use if I'm fishing in very weedy conditions. Okay now we are done with this side. Oh wait, I also have some of the some of the small rubber that, that Sean uses. I put it on a I put it on a chick head, maybe a two gram chick head. And it's actually very good. Oh, yeah. Okay, that. this is a rubber, and the bottom is a jig. Yeah, tangle up. Oh, that's the green color one. Yeah, yeah, the green color. Green color. I think this is two inch. I think. I like to put it on a jig head, two grams around there. And you can do a lot of different kind of retrieve with them. You can do a straight retrieve. You can let it bounce the bottom. You can yeah, you can do a lot. Of, but that that lure is a quite quite a good lure, especially when. When they're not biting the big stuff, they will most often hit that, that lure. And over here, okay, you see the lure box as well? And over here, I got I just got a bunch of jigs. Uh, my most recent addition is some tungsten uh, Zarek Chili Party. They are made of tungsten, like this tiny, tiny jig is 10 grams, so you can cast it really far and you can target. Uh, finic finicky fish, you can target finicky fish with this 10 gram jig because it's so small so they will be more likely to bite it and yeah another another chili party I have here and so, but sometimes I also like to like to how do I say uh, ver, ver, have a variety in my jigs sometimes I get the normal lead one and they are a bit bigger but I like it sometimes also because it flutters down very nicely this is the 12 gram one <laughs> Moving on, let's go to all the top water stuff that I have in my bait. Small popper, needs no introduction. Another popper, this is a Zarek Paparazzi. This is very small, 50mm only. But it's extremely, it pops extremely well for such a small popper. And that means we won't hesitate to eat it because it's so small. And this is the Zarek Trail Weaver in a different colour. 65mm, works like a dream. And this is a slightly bigger sinking minnow, 70S I believe. Butters on the drop. Uh, I love I love it when I using when I fishing for dummies also. Oh, but it's not like a bit dirty, is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. 
And also, just like Sean, I have a popper fly, but I don't use it so much nowadays. I also don't know why. Because uh, usually, popper fly is very good when they want to hit top water, but recently we fish very hot. Uh. I don't feel like they eat top water. I have a vibe. Very noisy. Vibes are. Vibes are really good for spawning fish when they're guarding a nest and they just hear the do 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 or they, they steam. <laughs> and this is a suspending mino, 80 cm. Uh, I like it for shallow waters because it's suspended, it doesn't dive too deep, you won't sunko it. Uh, oh, this is another 50s sinking mino. Oh, I got a lot of yours. <laughs> Anyway, so this is a crankbait. <coughs> this I think I got this crankbait in the US, and it has like blue gill, blue gill color, blue gill pattern. It's a square view, It doesn't dive too deep. Maybe like four feet like that. I like it. And I got a slightly deeper diver crankbait. This one goes down to about eight feet, I think. Different color, but a bit smaller. And of course. More of the same shit, same shit, different color. <laughs> you know, of same lures that are the, all the same, uh, different colors. Yeah, but this thing is uh, supposed to mimic like a toman color. Uh. That's why I got it. Uh. That's why it's red color. Just cast it out, let it sing maybe like five seconds, and then just do a steady retrieve with like occasional uh, features. Pa, 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 pa. Yeah, very effective. Another suspending middle, ATCM. And one of my most expensive lures that is more than like four years old already. Surprisingly, I still haven't lose it. I bought it for like <laughs> 20 US Not dollars. Sure. Spro, Spro Baby BBZ Swim Bait. <clears throat> this is about 30 Sing dollar when I bought it about four years ago. I'm still amazed that I haven't lose this. <laughs> Very expensive shit. <laughs> I, don't, I don't use it unless it's like when things get really desperate. It's like an infinity stone, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you don't use it. You don't use it until like, oh, you really cannot catch fish. Uh. Until you, like, you fish for four hours already. Uh. Not a single bite. Now I'll we'll take out this. Spro baby BBZ. Baby BBZ. Alright. Finally. <coughs> oh shit. Finally, we're done with our, with my main lure box. Uh, this is just a bag that I had. Okay, we're done with the main lure box. This is the secondary lure box. AKA swim bait lure box. AKA frog lure box, AKA lures that don't catch anything box. <laughs> so, I got some, I got a couple of uh, divers, divers, shiny divers. Actually, this is mainly for pelagic. Uh, when I go St. John, uh, I'll try and throw this, cast out and just reel it in. But so far, I haven't got anything on it, so yeah, they've been sitting in my lure that don't really work. Box. <laughs> and another frog, this frog is like, look at the rustiness and the dirtiness on it. Uh, I don't. I forgot if this rock frog catch fish, but it's been with me for a while. Eh? Oh, I love, I like this one. That's very cool. Bus bait. See? Oh, is that how you blow? <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> so this is a bus bait. Uh, good for toman, but this one is a bit too small for toman. Got it for large mouth bass primarily, but I don't know. I don't know why it's still inside here. I just never bothered to take it out. And this is a cheddar bait. Which is uh, often confused for a master bait, but, <laughs> but it's not. It's just a chatter bait. It's it, it's like a jig, but it, when you when you work it through the water, it will go like left and left and left and left. So how how do you jerk it? <laughs> Here, I have some of my favorite spoons. It's like cast master spoons. Uh, this is also very good for pelagic. You can cast like. Uh, let me show you the other ones. Silver blue. That's the color that I like. You can cast this very 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 far because they're just metal, metal chicks and you can just do a straight retrieve and get bit okay so this is one of my favorite swim baits that I like to use I usually like to use uh, either the show catch jig head or the Zarek marsh slider jig heads and this is the swim bait tail that I like to use you can't really get this tail in Singapore uh, I bought it all from the US when I go US I like to buy like like five six packs of this because I just love it so much they, they swim straight and the action is damn nice. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and it smells like. Oh, it smells like. It smells good, man. It smells good. I, I don't even know how it smells. It smells fishy. Mmm. It smells, it smells, it smells like. I don't know. 
really is. It smells good. It smells good. It smells good. Yeah, so that's for my secondary in your box. And I also have a small box. This is my terminal tackle box. Inside, there is uh, jig heads. Uh, let me show you some of the jig heads that I have. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I have this show catch jig head, one quarter ounce. Usually in Singapore, I like to use about one quarter ounce or slightly less, maybe one six ounce. Uh, up to three eighth ounce, but I don't really go to half or more because it's, get, it's getting a bit too heavy for fresh water application. So yeah, this is the jig head that I like to use. Quarter ounce, seven grams. Uh, I will go maybe 10 grams max. Any more than that is getting a bit too heavy for a local. Unless you're fishing like super super deep water, which I don't usually do. Not because I avoid them, but it's just like the spots that I tend to go doesn't have deep water. Hey, you zoom in right <laughs> And this is another jig head that I like to use. One six ounce. Good stuff. And let me show you guys one of the hooks that I recently got. I think this is from Sure Catch, I think. This is a worm hook with like a screw here. You can screw in the rubber and then you rig it with this uh, white gap hook. And this hook will make your lure weedless, will make your rubber weedless so you can go through uh, whatever weeds and everything and catch the fish because a lot of times the fish is going to be in the, in the weeds and stuff. You left 10 minutes. <laughs> and over here, this is a uh, 2 grams jig head. I like to use it with the rubber that I show you also. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, okay, now we are done with all the boxes and uh, Ooh, what's this? This is my bag of rubber Rubber Rubber, let me see what else do I have Oh yeah, this is a waterproof phone case Highly recommend it if you are fishing in the jungle or if you are fishing inside water Protects your phone, you still can take picture with it And this is a uh, lot of extra hooks and I got some split shot weights here, extra hooks, stuff like that I'm gonna keep that in a ziplock bag in my compartment. But right, let's go to the main juice. Do you have the juice? This is the juice, the bag of rubber that I like to use. And start off, the staple. Staple. Uh, this is like a small minnow. Uh. I like to use soft, small, and gets bit. Uh, this is another one. Oh, I got this then long ago. Uh. Do you remember when uh, I still have this? This one is in, in the US one, right? No, uh, I bought it in Singapore. Uh. I bought it like, like my first year of, my first year of NS, I think. What, this but, year? No, no, no. I bought it in some beach road shop. But this this stuff is good, good but I don't think you can find it anymore. Sad. Some, small, some more small rubbers. More small rubbers. Actually, this is the same as just another one. Zoom! Zoom fluke. This is what? Tiny I think this is quite good, right? This one. Yeah, this one is quite good. Tiny fluke. This is, but this one is quite small. Uh, but for peacock bass, very good. Uh, more different color. Oh, this is a slightly bigger fluke. Let me show you guys the color. Dun, dun. And this one, weedless. Rig it weedless with the with the extra white gap hook, Texas rig, weedless and weightless. This action is like. Insane man, insane. Uh, what's this? Oh, same thing, different color. Same thing, different color. <laughs> As you can see, I, I really like that rubber. Same, uh, no wait, this is different. This is twin tail grub in white color. But I haven't really catch much on this, uh, to be honest. Uh, this is another sure catch grub. This grub is like damn cheap, it's 340 only. And I actually like this quite a lot. Eh. This thing actually does quite well for me on a straight retrieve or just bouncing bottom. Good shit, good stuff, good stuff. And of course, I got a Z Man Slim Swims. Slim Swims. Uh, it's, it's about how big is this? Yeah, two point five inch. This two point five inch. Uh, also very good for jungle fishing or Tamansi peacock in general. And more grabs, more grabs, more grabs. I don't know why I got so many grass. <laughs> I think because uh, my friend tell me the JB pay point that they really like grass, but they don't! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Brian, uh. No, no, it's not Brian. Who are? Who are? Some guy on Instagram. No, I'm just kidding, guys. Just kidding. Thanks for the tip, but it didn't really work for me. Uh, 
This is another. Oh, this is brand new. Look at the color. The color very nice. Oh, very silvery. Albino. Eh? Fluke. Nice. Same thing, different color. Yeah, all the same thing, different color. Yeah. I think that. I think that is all, folks. I think that is all for my for my bag. Uh, all my lures are over here. I still got other lures, but they are not in my everyday carry. Not in my everyday fishing. And it's not zooming me in my face. <laughs> it's not zooming me in my face. But yeah, this is uh what I usually bring for local fresh water. There's maybe like one or two lure changes depending on location, but generally like this is the whole set that I bring. So once again. Thank you guys for watching. We are signing out. Stay tuned for our next episode. Peace. <laughs>